Hi and welcome. I'm going to play Stick and Hat by Michael Stell. It's the piano duet option on Trinity's initial piano syllabus for 2018 to 2020. And this piece is published in this book, uh, The Tower Worm, 22 snappy pieces for piano four hands. And I suspect that that title works better in the original German, Der Wurm im Turm. I'm going to play it through, first of all, as a duet. You'll hear both parts together, as it might for an exam. And then I'll talk you through the candidate's part. That's the primo part. And then at the end, I'll just play through the primo part on its own as well. So here we go. First of all, the duet, as it might sound for the exam. Let's now have a look together at the candidate's part and I'm going to bring it down to the middle of the piano just so it's easier, more comfortable for me to play. And I love the way that this piece keeps the hand in this position, doesn't it? I suspect you all have played some pieces that have this hand position and we stay there. There's one bit at the very end of the piece where Michael Steyl suggests we move up an octave. but as it says in the exam book, that we don't need to do that if you're sitting for the exam. Now let's go from the very top. We've got these chords in the left hand and we need to be careful to give them their full value. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And we need to make sure that both of those notes are really well together. Avoid that sound. A really solid. Uh, keep those fingers slightly curved trying to avoid a flat finger that tends to be a bit more unsure whereas a really solid finger with that joint bent works best I think and then the right hand of course has the tune which we want nice and legato and smooth and I think of that after the end of the second bar just there that's the bit where I would breathe if I was singing it. Put them together. Holding on to that left hand. And although I've got to lift up the left hand, the right hand is being nice and smooth there. And there we have to lift up both hands, don't we? Because we've got to repeat the D. slight dying away there for that bar and for these next few bars this hand is doing the accompanying so very much in the background piano and legato I'm going a little bit slower now aren't I just to give us a chance to think about what's going on change the notes there again really holding on to those notes for their full value whilst the other other part will be playing some tune there and then smooth here gradually getting louder before the final line mezzo forte and if you do decide to do this for the exam and you can if you want to it's great fun just practicing getting your thumbs together there on the C to the same position an octave higher and can you do it in time let me go from bar 17 and have a go one two three four two. 
So I'm sort of locking my thumbs together there to help guide me. I'm aiming to hop up that octave. We could play a game. Or play the chord. Two Gs sandwiching a C in the middle. Can I go lower? I'm going to go off your screen. <laughs> And so for that final line, let's do it with that octave displacement. A very pianissimo at the end. And you'll have to coordinate with the person you play this with very carefully to make sure you come off together at the very end. It's a, it's a lovely piece. Great fun to play and great fun to be playing with somebody else at the piano as well. Before I go, let's now just listen to that primo part, the bit on the top, um, on its own, just so we can hear exactly what's going on. Um, take care. Bye-bye for now.